for the first time on Hackers High School football tour, we are in Nassau County at Uwe High School. You know Uwe High School. A guy named Derrick Henry played under the Friday Night Lights here. Derrick Henry's gone, but winning has returned to Uwe High School. Three and two on the year and in great shape for a postseason berth in district play. Let's find out what's going on here at Uwe. We're entering a hornet's nest. This is Hackers High School football tour. Let's go. Out at the Hornets Nest, Uwe High School, the football stadium, and we have the head man in charge, head coach Kyle Doherty here with us on Hackers High School football tour. Coach, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Coach, we're good, man. Thank you for having us out. Good practice. I've never seen a coach uh, take snaps and throw spirals and then get after it the way you did out here. That was fun to watch. Love scout team. Apparently. Played, played quarterback in high school, so I love scout team. And, and, and look, that's that's got to be so cool and fulfilling for you that not only are you teaching your kids the game, but you're getting you know after yourself a little bit and teaching them the game. It's really good when you just shake your nose guard in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Uwe High School, obviously only year two for you, so you can't really address issues they've had in the past. But clearly since Derek Henry left, it has not been all great. You are kind of getting it back to that, though. You were one of the surprises in the area this year. Did you know coming into the year that you might have something in 2022? Uh, yeah, I had a feeling uh, just with some of the kids that we had. Um, we have a lot of talent on the football ro on the roster. Uh, there's a lot of talent in this area, and keeping them keeping at home was the big thing. Um, you know, there's a lot of there was always a lot of talent in this area, but in previous years they were playing other places, mm -hmm. and now they're here playing for us. That's why I think we're, you know, being competitive in ball games. Mm -hmm. Like that Baldwin team is talented, really talented. A bunch of athletes all over the field. They were big and physical, and for us to be in that football game, we wouldn't be there if the kids didn't decide to stick with Uli football, stick with me, give me a chance to coach them up, and. Uh, just buy into the process, and they have. Flat because if he's pressed up, I mean, it's not even. He's gonna he's gonna run him off. So one two three, go one, press him up. One one two three, you're gonna come flat, come back, and then this is where you're gonna pick him off at. What coach brought, you know, here was just something that we just, you know, just never had here. You know, bringing in new ideas, getting a guy that just wasn't from around the area, just to come in and show kids, you know, different things, different methods of, of you know, of practicing and playing. And it was just it was just good to have fresh ideas coming in. It was a fresh start, you know, and we needed it here. And so far, you know, it's going pretty good. It's like you know Ryan's coming, so you either got slain or hit, you're fine. Or outlaw. It doesn't matter. It's quick. I had a lot of opportunities you know I mean? to leave. Uli had opportunities to go places, and one of the best decisions I made was staying and play for that man right there, and it has really changed my life. I live right down the road, so, you know, playing for the local team just really means a lot. I get to put on for, you know, everybody here, my family, people that come and support me for my church, so it's pretty incredible. I love it. You mentioned Coach Doherty. What does he like to play for? He's He shows me every day what it means to show up and to do the work and to you know, just be the best you can be every single day and to put in work consistently. That way, we get to Friday nights and it shows up. I'm sure you've been asked this once or twice during your career here at Uli. You're playing on the same field that Derrick Henry yeah. played on about a decade ago. Uh, the fact that Derrick Henry is a Uli Hornet, and obviously the school gets so much exposure because right, of that. What right. does that mean to the current players? I'm just really thankful because he really did put us on the map. And, you know, any when we go to Oklahoma or when I was visiting Clemson, you know, they ask where you go to school, I would say Uli and offer it. Oh, that's where Derrick Henry went. So it just really gets that connection and you can know like, yeah, hey, he put us on. You know, with Derrick out here, he's a good inspiration. He comes back and let us know that you can still grow up in a little town and still be one of the most known names in America. So it's a good motivator for him. You see him on the walls and all that, how he's really changed us. So has Derrick come out here and you've talked to him? You've I mean, he's... Like my sophomore and freshman year, his little brother was on my team. So he oh. came my very first high school spring game. He came up here and told us that's when he got his jersey retired. And he came to his brother graduation a couple of years back. So we see him. We try not to do all too much because he got kids now and you don't want to, you want him to just act like a normal person. But it's Derrick Henry. It's Derrick Henry. Yeah. UA High School, Hackers High School football tour, and we found not only a coach on the UE football team, 
but a former teammate of Derrick Henry. Zach Camp. Zach, how we doing? Doing good. How about you, man? Zach, we're good, man. Appreciate you having us out. All right, so Derrick Henry, what was it about him as a teammate, your memories of Derrick here at UE High School? Uh, he was a competitor. Uh, he raised the level of the program, uh, of his teammates around him, um, and just the o overall uh, atmosphere in Yuli. Uh, it was fun time, um, and you know, it, it was a really successful time at Yuli. And it must have been the experience of playing with Derek. I remember being out here when ESPN was here, the Kelvin Taylor, Derek Henry game. Yeah. I mean, those memories have to be unbelievable for you to be on those rosters. Yeah, that was actually the year after I had graduated. I was on, uh, I was back visiting though. Uh, we were on a bye week when I was at Troy, and uh, but it was man. There was a lot of hype behind it. Uh, it was really special, uh, and especially really special that Derek came out and kind of showed who the better back was. I felt like that <laughs> night. Now you played on this field. Now you're coaching this team as the uh, wide receiver coach, well, one of the offensive guys on the staff. What is it like to coach again at your alma mater? Uh, it's special, definitely special, uh, especially to see the the, the growth uh, that we've had here the last couple years. Um, we're finally getting back to being a uh, really competitive program, uh, and that's nice. It's also nice to see, as a former wide receiver, uh, us uh, slinging the ball around a little bit more. Uh, obviously, back when I played, we weren't uh, throwing the ball <laughs> as much, right. but uh, it's really special now. Um, you know that that we have the type of talent to be able to do the type of things that we do as an offense um, and it's it's really exciting to see it uh, you know on the up again. Now I've been told that you had the Yuli touchdown record right for a wide receiver that actually got broke this year by one of your <laughs> wide receivers who's on his way to UConn. That's right that's right Zach Girardi. Uh It's it's really uh, it's really awesome to have a kid that you coach um, you know come out and do that. Um, I always like to mess with them and say it took you two more years than me but uh, <laughs> and I did it on uh, uh, offense where we ran the ball 80% yeah, of the time. Yeah, Derek got 40 carries a game, <laughs> But, right? no, it's really special uh, not to take anything away from that kid. Um, he's a he's a very, very good wide receiver, um, very savvy. Uh, I, I haven't coached anyone like him, um, and it's awesome that he's from this area, uh, and I just love to see him progress. I've, got, I've coached him all four years, and um, I'm really excited for him and happy for him. You know, final question for you, Zach. When Derek left – there was a drop-off in the program. Maybe it's because you left, too, probably. That was one of the reasons as well. <laughs> but, but clearly there was a drop-off in the program. Now it's coming back a little bit, and it's on mm -hmm. the ascend a little bit. What does it mean for you, a guy that was part of the good times here at UE, a Final Four team mm -hmm. here at UE, to now – begin building that process back here with this high school? Um, it, it's great to see it finally happening again. We went through some rough years. I, I was a part of some some teams and on some staffs that, you know, we underperformed a little bit. Uh, you know, and now that Coach Doherty's been in, the the, the intensity's changed. Um, the, the level of competitiveness has changed. And I finally feel like it's starting to get back to that old Yuli again. So it's great to see my alma mater, especially uh, in a team that I'm coaching coaching for uh, get back to, to something um, that's uh, as special as it is now. We spend so much time talking about St. John's County, clearly Duval County, obviously Clay County. Well, what about up here in Nassau County? How would you assess the talent in this area? Uh, there's a lot of talent in this area. I mean, I think the college coaches kind of are indicative of showing you where all that talent is. I mean, we had 60 college coaches come through in spring to come see our guys. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of kids getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of kids getting a lot of contact and a lot of feedback from college coaches. So there's a play, this is a place for people to come to. And, uh, and it's an easy stop for those college coaches to get to. They get in and out and they're here and uh, able to see our guys and evaluate them in, you know, in person in that, in that live evaluation period. Good. Outside, hit. You also are on your way to play college football. You're committed to Valdosta State. What was it about Valdosta State that led you that direction? Uh, not, not a lot of schools are looking at me. I was kind of under-recruited. They just kind of took a chance on me and that's what I like so that's what, why I went with them. For a college to take a chance on you like that I mean what does that what does that mean to you? It means, it means somebody believes in me and that's just what I need. You know as a quarterback as we wrap up with your Chris who do you model your game after? Who do you, uh, uh, you emulate? I like Brett Favre, Tom Brady, Stetson Bennett. Oh Stetson Bennett. A lot of them boys yeah. I like what about them. Stetson Bennett do you like? I just like how no one believes in him he just kind of goes out there and gets it done. 
A 4.4 yes, GPA? Sir. Did I hear that correct? A 4.4. <laughs> Good for you. Yes, Where does sir. that work ethic come from? It really comes from my parents. They both went to UF, and so they, they take school seriously. I got an older sister that went to Vanderbilt and a brother that went to Stetson, another brother that go to UF. So we try to make sure that you hit the books just like you hit the field. Benji, what does UA high school football mean to you? I mean, it's nice. My, my siblings were here. I'm going here. I'm going to be the first college athlete in the family, so I want to have the family experience something new, and Uly High School brought that for me. Final question, what would it mean to make a postseason run in your senior year? Man, I've been, we've been losing every year since now, so f since we finally win it, I think it might be the dream season for us, so it might make the world for me. Your time at Uly is winding down. Hopefully you have a postseason run ahead of you. But as you start to reminisce on your career here, what, what do you think of? What does Uly High School, Uly High School football mean to you? It means a lot. If Derrick Henry can make it to the lead from Uly, so can I. Thank you to head coach Kyle Doherty and everybody out here at Uly High School for their unbelievable hospitality and best of luck to the Hornets the remainder of 2022. Hackers High School Football Tour is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. We got two episodes left. Where are we heading next week? You'll find out next Friday as Hackers High School Football Tour rolls on. Let's go.